Hey gang, more of the order, 1886. Here we were, on top of a blimp. Hey, Gray, Lafayette. I had to press up to go down, because that's the direction I'm heading. I wasn't ready for that. This is most precarious, my friend. Giving up so soon, Marquis. In position. Uh. I'll shatter you. Let's go. I don't even know how we made this sneak off. Like, how did they not see the other giant blimp? Did we just come in too high? We need eyes on the ground amongst the guests. And imagine me with nothing to wear. I suppose I'll have to go dress shopping. Rules of engagement, monsieur? Do what you must. We don't have time to distinguish between rebel conspirators and the company guards. Mm, we've worked without a safety net before. That is true. But then again, we are commandeering the flagship of the United India Company's fleet. Questions? Then let's move out. <laughs> Didn't really give a time. I must ask you. This was a question. It's a long story, one that I will share with you when the time is right. There's still much that I have to find out for myself. I hope you know what you're doing. It seems that the council grows wary of your defiance. The order is not what it once was, Chris. Yes, you've said that much before. <laughs> Patience, old friend, all in due time. Is his name Grayson Galahad or Galahad Grayson? Remember, stealth mode. Either way, GG. Mademoiselle has my absolute assurance I shall be as silent as the grave. The path looks clear of guards. We should hurry. Wait for my go-ahead. Oh, look at what happens to their hair when I put his head like that. Ugh, I hate it. I hate it. Yay, this little mini game. Resistance from company guards. They are using deadly force. Reciprocate if necessary. 
Some kind of music box. Missed the timing. Now I get it. You do worry too much. I'm right behind you, Monsieur. I can see three in the cockpit. The guard may present a challenge. We'll just have to improvise. Boys, next morning is at Portsmouth, and then it's an uneventful few days to the Americas. Smoke grenade. On your mark. Three. Can't even two. tell we're airborne when I'm back in the hall. One. But here. the ship in the name of Liberty. Percival, the cockpit is secured. Lafayette will remain at the helm. What is your status? Lord Hastings is in the vicinity of the ballroom, aft of your location. We will try to get eyes on him. Get here fast. Acknowledge. 
Shall apprise you once I've made reconnaissance. Remember, a steady hand at the tiller at all times. Leave it to me, monsieur. Not a fan of that lockpicking minigame, like it's not fun. Not that lockpicking minigames are usually fun. As I think about all the lockpicking minigames I've done in my life. I think I know what to do this time. Nope. Just gotta be a little bit faster. Other way, other way, other way. Hey, you. <sighs> All right, trial and error. Come <laughs> on. 
none the wiser. I don't even know if anybody's coming this way. Hopefully the checkpoint is over here. Ah, uh, newspaper. Domestic goods of what quality? Aberton's trademark stout nail, absolutely the best. Stocks and tough nail, gross murder for the common person. United India Company, latest acquisition deemed pervasive. Lively debate in Parliament was prompted by news of the United India Company's proposed acquisition of rival trading company Assam East Asian Exporting Limited. Sir Harry Lytton, Lytton, Whig Member of Parliament for Hertzford, Hertzfordshire, denounced the arrangement as an unholy combination meant to further unite India's arrogant attempt to foster a worldwide monopoly. The honorable member was quickly drowned out by catcalls of Tory backbenchers whose overwhelming support for the arrangement makes its approval all but certain. For his part, Lord Hastings, the uh, estimable, esteemable chairman of United India Company Corp, I guess, United India Corp, who also serves as Lord High Treasurer, elected to remain magnanimous in his public statements. United India has always been a faithful servant of the realm, Lord Hastings insisted. John Winstone of Lewes, another uh, opposition malcontent, when told of Lord Hastings' views, the United India Corp is nothing more than an insidious leviathan, its gaping mouth swallowing everything in sight. It is common knowledge the company has acted for years as a shadow government. Were it not for United India's protectors in this administration, including the gangsters who call themselves Her Majesty's Order of Knights, we would have put paid to their illegal enterprise long ago. Founded by royal charter from Queen Elizabeth in 1600, the United India established its first foothold on the Indian subcontinent, but its territory soon expanded to include Northwest Frontier, Province, something, 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 Rivals now claims more than two-thirds of the world's trade as its own. In recent months, the company has reopened trade with the Americas for the first time since the insurrection of 1776. We expect America to prove fertile ground, Lord Hastings anticipated, though he declined to reveal specific details of the company's operations in its former turbulent colonies across the water. Lord Hastings added that he expected the company's current unpleasantness with Parliament would soon pass. All previous attempts would bring United India to reign, have all ended in defeat, and a reassertion of the company's authority. Blah, what a boring fucking... You know, I re one of the newspaper articles was interesting. One of them. The rest of them are not interesting, even a little. First of all, we have a complication. Lucan is on board. My brother, what is the night commander doing here? Everything seems to be running smoothly. Yes, Lucan, quite smoothly. We should be in Portsmouth in a few hours. Indeed. Then off to the Americas. Damn it. He was to escort the Lord until the ship reached our borders. Should he be informed of the situation? Risk alerting rebel agent. Galahad is right. Alistair will not appreciate being kept out of this. Worry about that later. You might yet be welcome support if the situation requires it. We proceed as planned. Understood. I'll let you know when I have a better vantage point. Oh, more sneaking. I 
I could do without the sneaking. And actually, as soon as they give me control, I'm going the other direction. What's this? A sniper rifle? Hastings checks out. Excellent. Check the remaining cards. is down. Rebels incoming. I need support now. Understood. We'll converge on you. I love it. There was just a grenade over here. Why not? That's a tough gun to use. Ah, no bullets.
Damn it. Hand up, baby. That shotgun guy is gonna fuck me up. <laughs> oh, shotgun guy. I can see where they're coming from. Oh no, don't tell me the whole part again. Not the whole part again. Come on. That was so many dudes. Dumbasses.
Who threw the grenade? Could have gone very poorly. What the bloody hell was that? A bomb just detonated on the front engine. Everyone, fall back! I'm out! You! Everyone, there's a rebel commander on board. It's the woman from Whitechapel. I'm in pursuit. Do not let her get away. Jesus, calm down, guy. Do not let her get away. I'm not. Percival, I've managed to capture one of the rebels. Good. Keep him restrained. I'll be there shortly. Smoke lingers. Damn it. First of all, I've lost the mark. I'm maintaining pursuit. Negative. Regroup on the lifeboats. We have a bigger problem. The rebels have a second device on board. Blood. All right. I'm on my way back. Hilarious lifeboats, I love it. Your mission to Whitechapel was to remain covert. I have received word of numerous casualties and reports of destruction to the London hospital. And now this! I intend to stand by my word. I alone will assume responsibility for all the consequences that may befall us. Sebastian, you do understand. There is little I can do to protect you from the wrath of the Lord Chancellor or of the Order. Your father will see reason. Right now, our concern should be finding the other device before it detonates. Oh, good night, your assistance. We, we must all hurry off the ship before things get worse. Sir Lucan will escort you and see to the evacuation. We must resume our pursuit. Oh, surely this is a situation for all hands. You do not intend to stay aboard. We will join you as soon as we can. Izzy, see to these people, then head to the cockpit. No, I'm coming with you. Izzy. You need to find Lafayette and get off this ship. I... Your brother charged me to bring you back safely. Do this... for me.
need weapons. There's a guard station nearby. We can avail ourselves of the company's arms. The rebels will be sending someone to detonate the second explosion. The rebel leader. She and an accomplice escaped to an active contingency plan. That must be it. Agreed. Let's get back to it. Well, it looks like we get to listen to some audio. I'll stay here. See if you can get to the weapons hold. Agamemnon, crew instructions and training manual, chapter three. Evacuation procedures. Remember, while aboard this airship, your standing orders are to ensure the safety of its passengers and cargo at all costs. Upon emergency declaration, dignitaries and other high priority individuals should receive your attention above all other passengers and crew. Priority cargo should be secured immediately thereafter. In the event of a ship wide evacuation, report to your commanding officer for emergency directives. Be sure to maintain a calm and collected demeanor at all times, so as to avoid alarming any passengers. The class prioritized order for evacuation will be broadcast via the shipwide loudspeakers. Under no circumstance should you depart the vessel until you have received the clearly stated directive that company personnel are approved for evacuation. Any personnel in violation of this mandate will face immediate disciplinary action up to and including summary execution. That's how shitty things were in 1886. Do you really think the people on this ship were paid enough to put their lives on the line for other people? I do not. Company rats fleeing their sinking ship. The other problem I have with that minigame is how long it takes to start and end. Too long. If what you need, then we should move on. Quartermaster has stopped this ship well enough to support a small army. Company's guard are not known for their subtlety. I fail to see the benefit in allowing the company to run its own army. I think this is how I want to do it. I think. There may be rebels ahead. Be ready. Get the door. I'll cover you.
What was that? That's not good. That guy just rushes you. Shotgun might come in handy actually on uh, Shotgun might come in handy. Oh a rifle also pretty handy, but I think I'm gonna keep the shotgun for the close quarters Shit it shoots three rounds at the same time Since I'm almost out of bullets. So in video games, that's like a gated thing. So now it's time for them to be alone, and it's like, how do you make them be alone? And well, the only way you make them be alone is by doing this. If only. Galahad, stay on the mark. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I'm getting shot at. What's going on? The damage from the explosion is getting worse. How long can you stabilize the ship? Not long, Monsieur. Do what you can, Marquis. Just give us a moment. Understood. Take cover, dumbass. Cover, cover. Cover. Holy shit, he's not taking cover. Oh, 
Fuck you, he's got armor? He's got gun armor? The fuck is that? I don't think there was such a thing as gun armor in 1886. I don't want a smoke grenade. I only have smoke grenades? Well, I'm good and fuck now. I literally won't be able to kill that guy. Fuck me. What happened? What happened to that guy? Yeah, I guess I'll keep the shotgun if there's gonna be fucking armored enemies. Some bullshit. A rifle, that would also be pretty nice actually. Gambling lounge. A lot of nothing up here. This level's long, man, compared to the other levels. Shoot him. There's no time, Percival. We have to stop him. Trust me, Grayson. Listen to me, Brad. Stand down. You have no idea who you're dealing with. We are not the enemy. Then prove it. Stop this madness. No. Not as long as the company is allowed to carry on and obstruct it. They won't. We'll see to it. Sebastian! Friend. You don't have to do this. I'm assuming that's the end of the chapter. Well, maybe not.
We crashed? Well, let's, since it looks like he's going to be stumbling again, <laughs> Lord knows that's my favorite part of the game is when he's stumbling around. Uh, I think I'll end the video there. So not bad, we raided an airship and then it blew up. Thank you for watching.